Hi, today I am going to show you how to download and use a program called Audacity. This program is used for audio recording, um, so things like podcasts, um, audio blogs, uh, anything you can really think of having to do with audio, uh, you can go ahead and use this program to record the sound bites. Um, so right now I am on the Nortel Learn It Moodle website. Um, so if you're not there already, go ahead and uh, go to content.nortellearnit.org slash Moodle. Okay, uh, once you're on this page, um, this course is the Center for Advancement of STEM Education course. Um, so go ahead and scroll down and you'll see section number six says digital audio and podcasting. Um, you'll see right here there's three different documents. Um, I went ahead and already read the instructions um, for Audacity. This document goes through the instructions as well as the download and how you can use Audacity. Um, so if you haven't read it already, go ahead and pause the video and read that right now. Okay, I'm going to go ahead with the download. So uh, right here, this um, link is for an audio converter. This converter allows you to create MP3s. Uh, without this, Audacity would have you make uh, WAV files. Uh, WAV files are really big and you can't really upload them or send them easily through email. Um, so this audio converter lets you to make small, allows you to make smaller files like MP3s. Um, so go ahead and right click on this link and say open. You should get a window that looks similar to this. Um, if you did, um, this explains what the converter is um, and how you need to download it. So uh, my pop-up window didn't show up, so go ahead and right click on this link and say open. You should have a window that looks like this. Um, don't worry, you didn't do anything wrong. Um, it's supposed to be blank. So go ahead and go up to this toolbar and say download, right click and say download file. Once you've done that, you'll get this screen and say open. So it looks like you're done, um, but you're not. You have to now extract the files. So go right over here and click on this link and say extract all files. This wizard will pop up. Um, go ahead and click next. I want my uh, converter files to show up on my desktop so I know exactly where they are. So I'm going to go ahead and click browse desktop and say OK. Once you click next, your files will be extracted and go ahead and say finish. This is all the software and documents on my desktop. Um, and right here you can see the MP3 encoding software. Um, so go ahead and close that window and you can close the next two windows as well. And brings you right back here. Um, now we're going to actually download the program Audacity. So go ahead over to this link, right click, and say open. Again, this window should pop up. Um, and go ahead and right click on this link and say open again. Again, you'll get this blank screen, so go up to the toolbar, right click, and say download file. I'm just going to go ahead and run this program, um, so go ahead and click on run. It's asking you to verify if you want to run the software. Go ahead and click run again. Another wizard will pop up um, asking you to download this software. So click next. Um, go ahead and say accept agreement and say next again, next again. Um, Audacity will go ahead and um, put a folder in your programs file um, library. Um, and if you want to save your recordings there, you can. Um, you don't have to. Um, so that folder's there, you know, for you to use if you want or if you don't want to. So go ahead and click next. I'm going to go ahead and create a desktop icon just so I know where it is. And so I'm going to click next again and say install. I'm going to go ahead and keep launch audacity checked and click finish. Okay, you can't see it yet, but go ahead and close this window if it's still open. And this is Audacity. Um, 
it's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. These are the main controls right up here. So it's rewind, play, record, pause, stop, and fast forward. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how easy it is to record. So all you have to do is go ahead and press this button. And I'm going to say one, two, three, four, test, test, test. And you can stop the recording. And as soon as you do that, um, it stops recording your voice. Um, and that's about it. So uh, down here you can adjust the output volume so if you wanted it to be lower or higher you could do that or the input volume um, and that's uh, what's going in the microphone so you can make that louder or softer it's really up to you. Um, here these tools allow you to zoom in and out to see the waves even closer um, and this tool over here, um, this is a really important tool. This allows you to cut the audio file. I'm not going to do that right now because if I do that, I can't undo it. Um, so once you do that, uh, once you go through and edit what you want to edit, um, you're all set. Um, you can mute uh, your microphone. You can make it solo to one side. Again, you can adjust the volume and levels. Um, and a note is um, if you mess up on an audio track, you don't have to go ahead and, you know, close the whole program. You can just click on this X right here, and it will create a new timeline for you, and you can record all over again. So don't worry. So I'm going to go ahead and save this test file. So go up to File and export as mp3. Again, that's why we have the converter program um, so we can export as mp3. So go ahead and click on that and it's going to ask you where you want to save your file. I'm going to go ahead and save mine on the desktop so um, I know where it is right away. So I'm going to say Amelia's voice and save. You should see this window right here just say OK and you're all set so go ahead and minimize so you can see that your audio file is right here and if you want to listen to it double click on the file and you'll see it right here and you can hear it you should be able to hear it in your headphones um, and that's about it um, now if you want to upload the file to um, a discussion forum you can do that as well so if you want to upload the to a forum, go ahead back to the Moodle site, um, to this page right here. Um, you can go to Trainers Discussion Forum and you can add a new discussion topic. So if I wanted to go ahead and add my file, I'm going to call it the subject is test. And to upload it to a discussion forum, you have to have something in this message text box. Um, otherwise, it will not um, allow you to post. So I'm going to say Amelia's test. If you scroll down, click browse. Um, and right there, um, it's on my desktop, Amelia's voice. That's my file. So you click open, and you can say post to forum. Once you post to forum, it'll show up. You say continue. You can see right here it showed up. So click on this just to make sure that your file is there and it, your post should look like this with this file right up here in the corner. So that's about it. It's a pretty easy program. Um, so if you guys want to you know, record your voice for your blog or for a forum um, or just in general, it's a pretty easy program and you can really get the hang of it. And that's about it.